nature throws immense possibilities to display and deploy creativity. The beauty all around us to see, touch and hear. It is miraculous because it's always changing. And the changes are sensory, intrinsic. The principle of nature is clear. It's selfless, inspiring, imaginative, open, dedicated and untiring. Nature is a giver, a provider, an imparter. Very few understand, accept, inculcate and follow these principles. Professor Ganpati Dada Sahib Yadav, popularly known as Professor G.D. Yadav, is one amongst those few. Born on the 14th of September, 1952, in a peasant's family from which hail several renowned wrestlers, comes as no surprise that Professor G.D. Yadav himself used to wrestle as a child. Dwelling in a small village, Arjunwada, located in Kolhapur district, Maharashtra, he was educated till grade 7 in the primary school of his village. I remember my childhood when I used to climb up the tree with a book in my hand and sit there and study. And in fact, many of my classmates also did the same thing. Uh, not only that, you know, I remember this particular river and this ghat. Uh, since the age of about eight, maybe, you know, I've been coming to this place to take my bath early in the morning. So this would be around four o'clock in the morning. And I used to take bath and take a you know, pot of water and go back and then do my, uh, you know, puja and then do studies. In fact, we did not have any uh, lights then, no electricity. So it was the lantern which we used to use. His teachers made use of village temples as classrooms. By the time he entered the seventh standard, there were only five teachers. He ranked first in the entire district. <laughs> की पुन्ना त्याना वाचा लगाए से नहीं आणि पुस्तक हाथात घेतले कि ते संपूर्ण धड़े वास्तुन हुई परियन त्यांचा दूसरे के लक्षण असाइज After the seventh standard, he had to enroll himself in a secondary school in Shelewadi, a neighboring village, which was five kilometers away, and the to and fro daily journey here entailed walking bare feet. Having reckoned his radiance and thereby the need to be amidst true scholars, to migrate cityward at the earliest was the advice dispensed to Ganpati's parents by Mr. Bal Ganga Tirthakar. Bal Ganga Tirthakar used to teach me English also. So towards the end of the year, he said that I should not stay in that village for my further education. I should go to the city and private high school is the best call high school in Mukolapur. And he will tell his father and because I was number one student, he will, I will get admission without any problem. So that is how I went to Kolapur. Akalan Shanti Dabarasa Anavadhanani Konta Hidri Prashna Vicharla Tadetita Achuk Uttar Dena Mudhut Attenta Tatparhota. Ganpati left his home at the tender age of 14 to continue his studies at the elite private high school in the city of Kolhapur. He remained the top performing student. Tanche science and physics chemistry marks. Banna wani shanno mala paata hitte. माझ्या माध्यमानुसार इंग्रजीला यादवना त्यावेळी 80 मार्क होते आणि संस्कृत मध्ये 84 म्हणजे या दोन विषयांमध्ये त्यावेळी ते 
टॉपरच होते आमच्या हायस्कूलमध्ये आफ्टर इलेव्हन इयर्स ऑफ स्कूलिंग इन मराठी मिडियम अप टू एस एस सी ही जॉईन राजा राम कॉलेज ऍट कोल्हापूर इन नाईन्टीन सिक्स्टी एट फॉर हिस प्री डिग्री अँड इंटर सायन्स प्री प्रोफेशनल प्रोग्रॅम्स गणपती चूज टू जॉईन यु डी सी टी फॉर द बॅचलर ऑफ केमिकल इंजिनिअरिंग प्रोग्रॅम विच इज ऑफ फोर इयर्स I came and uh, I just gave my form uh, which was 1 rupee and I had art, all the attested copies of my certificate so the gentleman who was sitting here he said uh, today is the last date luckily you have come and uh, it was around 4 430 or so and he said today we are closing but I can tell you we have prepared the merit list and according to your marks and all you are number 9 in the all india merit list and uh, you will get admission and i just left i had not still thought of udcd i went home and within a week i got a telegram and that said sir you have been admitted to bk engineering course of and a seat has been reserved for in the hostel he was fascinated by his teacher professor m m sharma who remained his guru all his life I saw him more closely uh, when he became my research student in 74 and uh, I could see how hard working how intelligent he was most important a multifarious personality I mean he was good in theory good in experiments good in making sketches I didn't know at that time that he also has traits of being a poet and that he is good in sanskrit and that he can write in marathi um, poems and all no, i didn't know that at that time so nature has taught me many things i i became poet because of that i used to write very good marathi literature english literature because of uh, my association with nature but i did know in fact for my book which was under preparation he prepared many many diagrams uh, he was also what we used to call demonstrator which were redesignated as associate lecturer so running the lab he had flair for doing experiments and in fact he pioneered the work first time in india although it was more organic chemistry oriented no organic chemist in india had taken up that work and he took up that work on my uh, advice and not only it was published in good journal it was also commercialized later on he went to loughborough university in the united kingdom as a visiting fellow and worked on oil blob mechanics in porous media further he went on to join the group of fal dulling at the university of waterloo till 1986 on professor m m sharma's advice He returned to India in 1986 and joined as a reader in chemical engineering at the UDCT Mumbai. He brought significant and sustainable changes through research. He continued to work in oil recovery methods with support from the Oil and Natural Gas Corporation that is ONGC which has been patented and also studied coal structure and gasification fractals and catalysis he also started consulting with the renowned chemical industries he received a large number of research grants and has maintained a very active research group since 1990 to so catalytic processes he has selected systems properly and this might have come partly out of exposure to me and my collaborators because our mission was always pick up a topic of great academic interest so that you impart proper training at the same time it should be capable of being taken to industry professor dr ganpati dada saheb yadav vigyan avam engineering
Dr. Yadav has received numerous honors and distinctions for his innovative contributions to green chemistry and engineering, catalysis science and engineering, chemical reaction engineering, biotechnology, nanotechnology and energy engineering. Some of the worst disasters have taken place uh, in India. And therefore, green chemistry, green engineering, green technology becomes extremely important. And Dr. Yadav's one of the greatest contribution has been his contribution to green chemistry and green technology uh, through a variety of uh, innovative things that he has done, including uh, his novel uh, catalytic uh, processes, etc., uh, etc., et et you know. The hallmark of his research is its fundamental analysis with a focus on industrial adoption and commercialization. I think a lot of uh, work which has been done by him has been recognized not only in uh, academic also but as a lot of uh, industrial application also. He has done a phenomenal work in uh, catalysis, phase transfer catalysis. And uh, I think overall more than uh, 60 patterns he has. And uh, green technology, pollution free technology, lot of technology has been uh, developed. And uh, quite a few of them is already uh, used in uh, industry also. So he's he has always tried to see that, you know, his research uh, has uh, also used in the real situation in industry. Under his leadership, ICT became stronger effective, viable and visible and relevant to solve problems of today. Professor G.D. Yadav, starting from his very humble background in rural India, has risen to where he is today, is a testimony to that philosophy of Dhirubhai uncle and his attention to the details in his execution and his passion always reminds me of his comparison with the great people. He has taken pains to foster the legacy of Professor M. M. Sharma, Dr. Marshalkar and the likes. And without his personal efforts, the name UDCT would not have been proudly changed to ICT. So I deeply commend his efforts there. ICT is a prominent landmark in Mumbai, a renowned institute with its magnificent and palatial buildings, spacious campus, high quality infrastructure and well-earned reputation for its academic excellence. Professor Yadav of course has been very active and he is very positive in his thinking so he has, he has a knack of getting people to do research work at university, to give donations to university, this is from past students as well as institutions and all, you know. So, I, I, and he is doing a great job in that. And it's a modern day Gurukul. ICT has a great heritage. It has resources. It has vigor and elasticity of growth. Thing, but I must in due modesty say that there was a very, very strong foundation by my predecessors, by faculty, 
by students, by alumina, including the support staff. They work, you know, some of them are not recognized, but they are behind us. And I think that is what is responsible for this. And we are open about everything. You know, it's not that my faculty members get the maximum freedom they, they would have ever imagined it. We have a very uh, great equation based on trust, basically. You ask him anything that he sends me for approval, uh, he gets shocked if I have not returned it within 10 minutes, basically. You know, if I'm traveling, etc., that happens. So my implicit trust in him is so much that we don't have any bureaucratic relationship like a chancellor and a vice chancellor. We are more like a family. We are more like friends, if you like. All right. So he's not my subordinate. He's my colleague. Dr. Yadav is a very popular teacher who insists on discipline. He had a method and knack of his own. His ability as a teacher stands unchallenged. Dr. G. D. Yadav is a confident scientist, a scholarly person, an educator. At the same time, he is very much at ease with his school friends and village folks. He balances to such contrast and diverse situations and diverse people comfortably. On the family front, he has been a supportive husband and a loving father. Wife Vasanti is a PhD in chemical technology and has her own business. Sons Vikramaditya and Gautam are both chemical engineers. Manali, his daughter-in-law, is an architect. You are a tireless individual who never uh, accepts defeat. You're always full of life, you're vivacious, and your smile is quite energizing. And uh, it is unsurprising that you've been such a productive researcher because uh, an integral part of research is to get your team at the same levels of energy and enthusiasm as yourself. Even though I was a new entrant to the family, Daddy has always treated me like his daughter. So if I have any questions or if I have any problem related to personal or professional life, Daddy is always there. He's like my guru, like my mentor. The latest addition to the family is Dr. G.D. Yadav's grandson, Arun. He's an excellent engineer. He can repair, he can do everything. You know, you want to fix a, uh, you want to fix a door, he will fix a door. You want to do anything, he's a good carpenter, he's a good mechanic, he's a, you know, you know, sometimes it is so easy for him. He will do everything in the house also. Fixing a nail, fixing anything, he's a fantastic engineer also. I remember he used to uh, teach us languages, uh, not science, which is uh, kind of ironic since I'm in a science, science field. Uh, for him, it was more about learning the language of communication and uh, delivering our thoughts and ideas. That's what really mattered instead of uh, delivering or talking about science. Talking about science, you need language, and that's the first thing that he really instilled in us. Um, and I think uh, it's, uh, it's, it's, it's an important thing that he is uh, passed on to us and uh, as an inspiration it's very uh, it's very uh, it's very humbling to see that a person from a village background could reach this position and uh, that's always served as an inspiration to our family he is a kind-hearted person he will help everybody from all because of his background he has come especially he has a very very soft corner for students those who are coming from a, from a village background or from that. He feels that, you know, if a student is from city, he already has a lot of uh, advantage. But if a village student is there, we have to help him.
you can create your own place in this society if you have merit if you are hard working you are devoted you follow the righteous path dharma is righteous path okay you can always be a winner but you should never give up